most important network. People refer to Jill as that woman with the great smile. I refer to her as that woman with the great gums. As Jill's dentist, I know that her gums are a foundation of a healthy smile. Jill knows that too, so she uses Crest Pro Health Clinical Gum Protection Toothpaste. It helps eliminate plaque at the gum line, helping prevent gingivitis. It's even clinically proven to help reverse it in just four weeks. And it protects these other areas dentists check most. Crest Pro Health Clinical Gum Protection. Because healthy smiles are built on healthy gums. Life opens up when you do. I'm Scott England with this recap of the livestock trade for this Thursday. Nearby live contracts were under pressure today as traders pulled back from all-time high prices. Some of the initial selling may have been triggered by yesterday's negative cold storage report, but that usually doesn't play a large role. Most cash cattle activity will take place tomorrow. Today, packer inquiry was light with preliminary bids renewed at 126 in the south and 206 to 208 plus in the north. Feeder cattle also saw a down day. Feeders were moderately lower thanks to the bearish example in the live pit and traders moving to take some money off the table. Lean hogs traded lower most of the day. The wholesale pork trade was described as very slow with light to moderate demand offerings. Cash hog numbers saw the eastern corn belt trending lower while Iowa and Minnesota was trending higher. I'm Scott England. Thank you for watching RFD TV, rural America's most important network. They're the reason you can't wait to wake up each day and who you're glad to stay up late for. They're who you rush home to from work each day and how we teach our kids about working hard. They're who you plan your weekends around. They're family. That's why you can count on Neutrina from one generation to the next. From our family to yours with love and nutrition. Neutrina. This RFD TV Market Minute is brought to you by Cargill Neutrina. Welcome to RFD TV Live. I'm Mark Oppel. Great to have you with us this evening. It's always a pleasure to welcome our guests to RFD TV Live, but especially when we are able to introduce a new name to our viewers and uh, great products to go along with that name. It's Monty's Plant Food Company joining us tonight in studio. And here with me, Joe Dedham is a, a, one of the uh, crop uh, certified crop advisors with Monty's and uh, Gary Coughlin uh, joining me as well here in studio also a certified crop advisor. Welcome to RFD TV, both of you. Thank, Thank you. you Mark. Good to have you here. Before we get started, uh, getting a, a, a learning about Monty's Plant Food, uh, a great, a great product with a great story. Can't wait for you to share that with us, Joe. Let's talk about you and uh, your background for our viewers. Well, I was born and raised in South, in North Central Kentucky. I uh, grew up there all my life. Still mm -hmm. live there. Uh, grew up on a, a small family farm, uh, dairy. Ran dairy most of my life. Uh, in the 70s, I uh, decided to get out of the dairy and went to work for a local co-op chain, mm -hmm. Southern States Cooperative. Went with them for 17 years as a store manager, field salesman, uh, other things as well. And then uh, along comes Monty's uh, for Southern States, a store that I was at. And lo and behold, I decided to go to work for Monty's six and a half years ago. Six and a half years. Time goes by, doesn't it? Does. Wow, we'll get back to that. How about you, Gary? Your background, you're also a native of uh, Kentucky. I am. I grew up in the northeastern part of the state, and I am now starting my fourth year with Monty's. Mm -hmm. uh, prior to that, I worked for a regional farm supply cooperative, also southern states. I had 40 years there, wow. and I retired after 40 years. Uh, 34 of those years were spent as an agronomist with Southern States, working with our dealers and also with producers. That says something about Monty's as well, to pull somebody after all those years and retiring and uh, want to go fishing and golfing or whatever, that uh, really you wanted to be around some great people. What do you, tell me about, talk about some of your roles there now and uh, what you do day to day with Monty's. Well, to back up a sec, I grew up on a burly tobacco and dairy farm. Mm -hmm. And I guess doing all the work that's required on those, um, when I retired, I just couldn't quit. <laughs> yeah. And my role with, with the Monty's today is I'm part of the sales team, but together Joe and I co-manage the research farm Monty's has outside of Louisville, Kentucky. And that keeps us busy I'm from bad. about planting season all the way through harvest. And in addition to that, we provide agronomic training and technical support to our distributor network, our dealer network, 
and our end producers, and that's uh, our our customers. Yeah, absolutely, Joe. Again, so uh, that's kind of uh, your your day to day activities, kind of mirror Gary's. It sounds like. Yeah, quite a bit. I work out of the office as well as travel quite a bit, uh, doing training for our uh, distributors and our dealers and our farmers, and uh, I try and uh, build and help provide material to help farmers understand not only our products, but uh, how to use our products and then deal with many of the issues that they're dealing with today. Problem solving, I think, yes. Gary, you mentioned that because that's what you're all proud about. And you have a great team. I know we talked about that uh, our meetings here that you get, Mark. We have a great, great group of people that we work with every day. We do. We have a fantastic sales force out there that's uh, 15 uh, sales reps. They're highly trained. We try and bring them up to speed about soil issues and uh, current cropping conditions and what farmers are dealing with so that they can help provide solutions uh, out in the field to deal with what farmers are trying to deal with. And when we first met Monty's, we said, we have to share this with our viewers on RFD TV. It's a great story. Uh, yes. Tell us about the company. Uh, it's been in agricultural about uh, 12 years, but a long time before that. Tell us how it started. Well, it started way back in 97 with Monty himself uh, was a Rosarian and uh, he, he brought it onto Roses. And it evolved from the roses into the garden, and then from the garden, lo and behold, these farmers took it out into their fields. <laughs> and about 12 years ago, Monty's uh, linked up with scientific te technology, and we brought in Humix and Fulvix and put it in our products and uh, in a very proprietary manner. And the rest is history. We're out solving problems today with uh, many farmers across the nation. And you brought a video with you I that did, helps uh, explain the whole situation and the, and the history behind it. Let's take a look yes. at that here. We'll take a look at the history of Monty's Plant Foods and uh, where they have come from. Here's uh, Monty's uh, Plant Food history. Since our first formula was used to foliar or apply nutrients more than two decades ago, Monty's Plant Food Company has been refining the process and redefining an industry. Today, Monty's is a solutions-based company led by a team of professionals, privately held by the original owners, not a multinational conglomerate. Monty's team includes territory managers, reps, crop consultants, and certified crop advisors placed throughout the country to work hand-in-hand -hand with farm stores and farms just like yours. Monty's professionals come from a wide variety of disciplines so that they can respond to needs arising from different sized farms, different crops, and different production goals. This enables them to deliver personalized solutions that are agriculturally effective, environmentally sound, and economically feasible. Monty's offers products and solutions for growers around the world in the agriculture, horticulture, and turf industries. In each segment, Monty's offers unique products and protocol to fit their specific needs and challenges, like plant nutrition and stress, drought, compaction, poor drainage, pH issues, nutrient deficiencies, crop diseases, seasonal planting issues like cool and wet weather, sidewall compaction, and poor germination, while offering fertility options that can help increase crop yield and producers' bottom line. Monty's roster of products includes fertility products, soil conditioning products, and specialty products. These products represent years of innovation, research, development, and testing at universities, on research plots, farms just like yours, and most recently on our own 100-acre test farm. Each season, we are motivated by customer questions to release additional products which address particular concerns so that we can help maintain profitability and productivity for you on your farm. Monty's products are versatile and can be used across a wide variety of crops and cropping situations. Our formulations can be tank mixed with most chemistries, saving you even more time and money. And our products can be easily incorporated into your current farm and nutrient management programs. Better solutions begin with better questions. At Monty's, we've been asking the right questions for over two decades for one reason. So that this season, you can harvest results with Monty's. 
Harvest results I like that. That's a great way to end. What a, and it's a great video, I think, Joe, that talks about the, it shows the passion of the company and really their desire for solving problems. It is. And, it, and our story is a very unique story. Uh, I know, as you saw on the video, our product is a true plant food. Unlike fertilizers, liquid fertilizers that's on the marketplace, the, the minute you put our product on, it goes to work in the plant. And the story began with Monty developing again for the roses, and, mm -hmm. uh, and then it, it just evolved in across the lawn and garden scene, and uh, many uh, so, uh, farm uh, uh, homeowners yeah. uh, corrected many problems with the lawn and garden, and then as well, we took it into the agriculture where we are today, and uh, 12 years ago, we started in there, and, and we're flying high today well, with that. Let's talk about that, Gary, the agricultural side of things. Uh, who knew 12 years ago where you would be here in 2012, but what a growth period it's been. Mark, to tack on something Joe mentioned earlier, starting my fourth year with Monty's, it didn't take me too long in starting to work with Monty's that one of the first things I noticed is from the management of Monty's, from the president on down, the personnel of Monty's cares, mm -hmm. and they want to do things right. In our video, we saw a lineup of our products. We have soil conditioners that we think offer solutions to our, to our customers as far as increasing the health of that soil. Mm -hmm. We take the approach that if we can feed the soil, the soil will feed the plant. We've also got a seed starter in which we can use on any crop in the row on the seed, including soybeans, and it will not hurt germination. It actually helps it. It's pH neutral. It's extremely low salt con uh, content. Mm -hmm. It will not hurt germination. And then finally, we've got the foliar fertility products that Joe mentioned that we can apply over top of any crop at any stage of growth, all the way from germination up through reproductive stage. And Joe, the, that, that help goes all around the country. You are nationwide here now, and, and you have a lot of different soil types, obviously, that you work with. And uh, again, all about uh, from anywhere in the country is solving the problems of soil uh, in those areas. Yeah, we take great pride in our products being able to address many of the soil issues that farmers are dealing with, all the way from the East Coast to the West Coast, as well as the Northwest. Uh, and every different part of the country has some different issues. You, sure. You've got a lot of more clay in some parts. You've got higher organic matter. Some places you've got a whole lot more sand. And the neat part of our liquid carbon product is that it addresses all of these issues and we provide results for farmers. Absolutely. Uh, Gary, back to you, kind of a go from, from the company background, the great history, the great people, the great products that uh, are plant foods. Uh, we go to, uh, let's talk about maybe uh, targeting this part of the program, soil education, if, if you will. And, and that starts, I guess, the conversation by having you uh, uh, share again, You, the two of you, I think 70 years yeah. together, you've seen a lot of changes <laughs> technology-wise, there has been tremendous advances that we all know about, and farmers are using them to their benefit. The technological changes that has occurred in American agriculture in the last 10 years has just been phenomenal. It has been. I managed a retail store back in the early 70s, and I believe we sold seed corn at that point in time for $30 to $40 a bag. <laughs> but that's all it was, was a bag of seed corn. Yeah. Today, with all the traits and the genetics in a bag of seed corn, we're talking about 250 to over $300 a bag. So what are, we, what are we getting out of that? Well, we're getting increased genetics as far as yield and higher plant populations and standability and all the things we're looking for. But also, we've got the traits. And yeah. specifically, just staying with corn, We've got the herbicide resistant uh, built into seed where we can spray the glyphosate type products over top of corn to kill the weeds and won't hurt the crop. We've also got different modes of action as far as insect resistance to, uh, into those seed too. And that has been a huge boom to the farmer out there as far as increasing their efficiency and their productivity. Mark, we have, we've got to work on our soils and, and, and increase the uh, health of that soil, and we've got to know what our mineral matter is of that soil. And the only way we can check on that mineral matter is by doing a complete soil test. Yeah, that's the, I guess the point is here, the technology, which you've well defined here, but when you look at what soils, we haven't, oh, say we, you're telling me that producers haven't made those advances in soil that, like they have on the other technologies you mentioned, Gary. We, 
mark the day. We're doing grid sampling. We're doing field mapping. We've got variable rate application on dry fertilizer. We've got huge sprayers out there that can cover a lot of acres. We've reduced our application rates on our herbicides. We've got GPS. <laughs> uh, we've got a lot of so uh, software problems, uh, programs out there sure. that farmers can use, but we still have not properly addressed our soil. And maybe you could add to that, Joe. Yeah. Uh, what, you know, expanding on the soil and the education of, of, of uh, our viewers here in, in the, uh, better knowing the soil. Yeah, in addition to what he was talking about, he did mention about the grid sampling mm -hmm. and soil sampling. Uh, we encourage farmers all over the country to take those samples and take a very detailed uh, list on that sample so that they have all the information that they have at hand so they can make their decisions on growing these uh, crops and a lot of times it, it includes the CECs on the soil test and the base saturations on those soil tests is, is a decision making tool. And Joe, in addition to that, we need to do a complete analysis as far as micronutrients also. Yes, also. Yeah, and I think that what uh, a soil saturation test yeah. is something we talked about. I want you to explain that. Here we go. We have a, a little graphic here. But uh, yeah. what do you mean when you talk about soil saturation test? Why is that important? Well, we talk about CEC, especially on uh, the soil sample before we get to base saturation. And, and that happens to be how many cations can your soil hold? Well, cations is a positively charged nutrient, such as calcium and magnesium and potash and and sodium, and then on many soil samples, it shows hydrogen, which registers your pH. Well, CEC of a soil registers how much sand, silt, clay mixture your soil is. So, for example, as the little picture showed, uh, a three or four CEC soil cannot hold very much water. It cannot hold very much nutrients. But then you go to a very high clay soil that's up in the 20s or, or, or better, it holds a lot of water. It holds a lot of nutrients. So. I make my decisions as a farmer based on my CEC alone as to how much nutrients can I put on to grow that crop. Well then comes in base saturation and that is the mixture of those nutrients in the soil in proportions and different ratios. Yeah, talk about. I guess we're talking about ratios here, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, and we look at those ratios. For example, calcium uh, on a base saturation test wants to be around 65 percent, and magnesium wants to be like 10 to 15 on a clay soil and 18 to 20 on a sandy soil. And well, why is that so important? Mm -hmm. Well, it's there to let me know that if my nutrients are balanced in the right proportions, now everything works together in the soil and my nutrients are now available to feed the crop. Mm -hmm. If those are out of balance, now my yields go down and I wonder why. Well, it's you, you need the soil test. Yeah. To find how that does out. that work into Gary into like what, what I would call organic matter? Uh, how, does that, how does that work into this mix? Okay. Well, organic matter is obviously the decayed plant and animal life uh, that is decaying. We can increase that organic matter level in our soil over time by adding such things as animal manures. We can put down uh, plant green manure crops that we can turn under. We can also want to decompose the crop residue out there such as uh, wheat stubble or mm -hmm. corn stubble and whatnot. But when we, re when we reduce that and that decomposes by use of the liquid carbon, right. Joe, right. then that starts converting to organic matter. And once it starts that conversion, then we have nutrients that is released from that organic matter that go back to the crop. Mm -hmm. And in addition to that, organic matter is so critical for a lot of the reactions that take place in the soil. It affects the water infiltration. It affects the water holding capacity. And it has a strong effect as far as the soil structure. And another a challenge, if you want to call it a, a soil challenge, which a lot of producers are going to uh, uh, relate to watching, is compaction. <laughs> yes. Yeah, either one of you talk about compaction, and you have well, some demonstrations to did. help us we out. We brought here. a little demo tool with us tonight. Every one of our reps has one of these. Uh, and, and what is this? This is, is a soil penetrometer. A penetrometer. I was gonna, a I asked that because uh, viewers, I didn't know what that was. <laughs> I had not seen one before, but okay. So yeah. tell us what we're looking at here. Well, the penetrometer allows us to go out in the farmer's fields and actually poke this in the soil. Okay. 
and this the length of this tells us when we hit a compaction layer and when we do it will register on that gauge as to the amount of pressure it takes to push this tool through the soil that registers how much compaction the farmer has in his field and as you can see on the gauge uh, the green if i can push it up to 200 pounds pressure per square inch then a root hair can grow through that but once we go beyond that you see the yellow which means oh i'm, I'm in the borderline but once i hit red his roots cannot on any crop grow through that much compaction and that's why sometimes when we're out in the fields we'll see plant roots that hit that compacted zone and instead of going down to search for water and nutrients they literally flatten out yeah. and just run right along the top of that compacted zone. Yeah, we got some compaction uh, shots here to go along with that and, and you're yes. saying it's uh, Gary you were saying you know you're a good sized guy and, and, and you've been places where you couldn't get that down just a couple of inches That's into right. the soil. Yeah. If you look at the tip here this thing is graded uh, three inch gradients through here uh -huh. and literally there's been times I could not push that down uh, maybe an inch or two in the soil and there is no way as big as I am if I can't push it down how is a little plant root going to penetrate that so uh, again you're you're uh, go ahead in addition to that when we go out in the fields and we push this down and let's say we get it uh, six inches or eight inches deep and we hit a 300 uh, pressure compaction zone at that point yeah that means that the farmer is only farming six inches or eight inches deep that's that's where his water is that's where his nutrients is because the roots cannot go any further so farmers think they're tilling their entire field and all of a sudden they realize I'm only farming eight inches deep and that's what's holding my yields back and that and that my roots cannot go any deeper mark I paid I think around a couple hundred dollars for this thing every farmer ought to have one but if he doesn't want to spend two hundred dollars he can make his own all he needs to do is get him a piece of rebar, cut it however long he wants, sharpen it on this one end so he can penetrate the soil, cut off the rebar, and weld it across the top to make him a handle. He doesn't necessarily have to know what the exact pressure is, but when he pushes that down into the soil, he's going to know when he, he hits, hits when, he, when he hits that hard pan, I he'll guess you call it, that compaction, yeah. he'll feel it. He will what you're feel saying. it. He will feel it. All right, we're going to take a break here, come back. Gary, we're going to say goodbye to you for just a moment. You'll be back later in the program. We're going to invite uh, uh, another crop advisor to uh, join us here from North Dakota and talk with us. So we will have you back. Think, uh, so don't go away too far. We're going to have you back and, and open up our telephone lines later this hour as well, viewers, for you to join us and ask questions. Gary will be back uh, with our other panelists, and uh, we'll open up our phone lines. Lots more to cover here with Monty's Plant Food here on RFD TV Live. We'll take a break and come right back. You're watching Rural America's Most Important Network. Stay with us. Welcome to RFD TV's new product showcase featuring today's latest products. Now you can ensure a better harvest this fall by preparing your soils this spring. Monty's Liquid Carbon is an organic soil conditioner that is readily available to move into your soil, offering relief from your toughest challenges. Liquid Carbon also helps improve nutrient efficiency, and Monty's Tank Mix Flexibility makes burn down the perfect time to improve your soil and maximize your yield potential. For more information and to find a dealer, visit Monty'sPlantFood.com. When four lanes turn to two and the air becomes just a little sweeter, you'll know you're getting closer. We are where the work gets done. If you're a worker, a fixer, a grower, or a doer, then welcome home. Southern States, a place for those who do. Farmer-owned since 1923. With Monty's, you get better soil, better crops, and better yields. Make the most of your harvest. Ask for Monty's products at your Southern States. Welcome to RFD TV's new product showcase featuring today's latest products. With AgriHance, now you can give your crops the nutrients they need when they need them. AgriHance SR and V are formulated so that you control and manage the delivery of nutrients during each phase of your crop's development. To maximize overall yields, AgriHance offers tank mix flexibility, allowing you to mix and apply with most farm chemicals without an extra pass. This season, be in control and manage your crops from planting to harvest with AgriHance. Visit Monty'sPlantFood.com. Anything? No. How about now? Nope. <laughs> The 
Chevy Silverado. With best in class 4x4 available V8 fuel economy. Finally! From getting there to getting away from there, Chevy runs deep. And welcome back to RFD TV Live. I'm Mark Offold and Monty's Plant Food with us tonight for the first time to introduce them to you and our audience. We're pleased to do that. And we have a new guest here joining us in studio. And we say hello to Matt Haugen from the, uh, he's a, cro a certified crop advisor from the Northwest Territory. Matt, welcome. Thank you for the opportunity to be here. Good to have you here. And as we did with Joe and Gary, let's learn about uh, your background. Uh, you're a long way from Kentucky up there in the North Country. Yes, I'm. I am uh, currently from North Dakota. I am born and raised on a family farm, and uh, right now I am currently farming, but I'm entering my second year with Monty's. And, and again, like Joe and Gary, I worked on the retail side of agriculture mm -hmm. uh, for a um, uh, large agronomy center, and uh, worked with farmers on getting fertility programs set up and their chemical programs and also their specialty products like when I was at the agronomy center we started the Monty's product Did you? up there and I, I was um, blessed to work there for five years and build the Monty's line at that current location and they still currently are selling it and just the family that I got to work with as a on the retail side it uh, it it made me want to join Monty's as a sales rep for them. Very good, and, and do it day to day, a lot of traveling, and I'm sure the best part is being able to talk to producers one on one and, and like Joe and Gary, solve their problems. Yes. You know, I, I work with producers on a day to day basis, uh, whether um, I'm out with a dealer um, calling on customers or giving the dealer product support. Um, I'm always in touch with producers learning what their issues are sure. and helping them work through their issues. Now one of those is uh, what I'm going to call soil conditioners, one of you, something that you both wanted to talk about. Uh, what, you know, your reaction up there, different kind of soil, uh, Joe kind of touched on that all around the country, mm -hmm. about soil conditioners up there. Uh, soil conditioners in our, our neck of the woods are the same as everywhere. Um, they, wor they, they work with the soil no matter if you're in a sand, sandy soil or a heavy clay. They, they do the same things. We see similar results all across the country. And again, Joe, it all talks about just addressing the deficiencies yes. that, are, that are naturally there that, right. that Monty's can help with. And every season, something new comes along that the farmer didn't anticipate. You know, all of a sudden, this is showing up in my field, and it's usually some type of a nutrient deficiency. And everything can be traced back to the soil. You know, a lot of times we see the crop growing, or we drive by a field, and we see it pale, or or different colors and we go, uh oh, I've got an issue. What do I need to do about it? Well, that's where we come in and, and a lot of times even uh, Matt goes out and looks at those fields and says, hey, I know what I can do to help you. And a lot of times it is using our liquid carbon product or even some of our other products. Well, let's learn more about the carbon product. We have a video that you uh, brought with you as well. Yes. So let's uh, take a look at that, a video that introduces this carbon product that Joe talks about. Monty's Liquid Carbon offers a unique option for farmers by putting the power of Humix in your hands without changing much of what you're already doing. Humix are the buzzword in modern agriculture, and while everyone is talking about Humix, few actually understand them. Before we can adequately tell you about our soil conditioner, we probably need to lay some groundwork, so let's look first at what Humix are and why they even matter, beginning with a few of the benefits that Humix provide including aiding germination, increasing nutrient efficiency, promoting root development, and boosting soil condition. You no doubt understand the value of composting. Added composted material is effective at breaking up clay soil, retaining moisture, stimulating microbial growth, improving nutrient exchange, and helping water percolate through the soil profile. Humic is what makes all of that possible. Think of it as compost active ingredient. Humic or humus is formed naturally as the plants break down and decay. In its natural state, these humic molecules are bound to other substances, things like clay particles, sand, water, and various elements. People try to process the beneficial substances like humics and fulvics, but this is where most companies stop. 
With Monty's, though, our proprietary process strips away almost all of these particles, leaving behind more open and active sites on each humic molecule, allowing Monty's humic to attract and bond to a whole host of elements and serve as an organic catalyst. That is, they make things happen, whether they're applied to row crops, produce farms, or hay meadows. Take just a second to see what happens when a leading competitor's dry humic material is added to water compared to the dry form of Monty's activated humic. Did you notice how most of the competing product just fell to the bottom and little, if any, dispersed? But Monty's activated humic dissolves quickly to penetrate through your soil profile and go to work rapidly. Even after several days, the competition's product never dissolved. That is one of the differences that Monty's activated humic makes and what makes it so effective even at comparatively lower application rates. Powered by these humics, Monty's Liquid Carbon is an OMRI-listed organic soil conditioner, providing for nutrient management, improvement to organic matter, moisture management in the soil, and serving as a food source for microbes. It can be used to help address your toughest soil-related problems. It can even be sprayed on compost and manures to help speed the breakdown of organic matter. For more on this, let's learn how Monty's Liquid Carbon can benefit you this season as we return to the studio with certified crop advisors Joe Dedman and Gary Coughlin. For Monty's Plant Food Company, I'm Price Allen. Very good, and a great uh, explanation there. Let's go up to the North Dakota there, and Matt, back to your territory and, and crops related to what we're talking about in your area. Well, a large portion of the crops, uh, we in the past five to ten years, we've transitioned from generally small grains into more row crops. So mm -hmm. corn and beans are becoming the primary crop, but we still see a lot of small grains, wheat, barley, durum. Uh, we get canola when you get to the northern region of North Dakota. Um, you get along the uh, Red River Valley and you'll get sugar beets and potatoes. Uh, we move out west uh, towards the Missouri River and we get it more into the grassland and uh, alfalfa and uh, we also get into the sunflowers. And again, and, and how are we using the, the liquid carbon and, and all those mentioned that you, the crops that you mentioned there? Well, they come in use on all, so all forms of the crop, you mm -hmm. know, they, to develop that root system, um, to bring along the yield in the crop, uh, hay, the production in hay and alfalfa, uh, the quality level, um, the ways, ways guys have been using it um, in corn and row crop, um, small grains, uh, we have a lot of guys using uh, liquid carbon and our fertility program in furrow on the seed. Uh, it gives that seed, seedling a great root zone to develop and get out of the ground. You know, in the northern region, we have a short growing season. Yes, yeah. So Last year, uh, even shorter. <laughs> yeah, very yeah. short. Yeah. Yeah, and that's one thing that farmers are looking for, is to get that seedling out of the ground as soon as we can so it can be on its way yep. to uh, good yield. And we had a chance to visit with uh, folks in your area of the country here, uh, Troy Haugen uh, in Hannaford, is that right? Hannaford, North Dakota. Mm -hmm. And we were on the telephone and had a chance to visit about putting this together, uh, the uh, Monty's products, uh, liquid carbon, and some great testimony from North Dakota. Here's Troy. I started using Monty's products as a fit for my program, uh, mainly uh, in the corn and bean rotations, as I, I use their uh, their uh, starter programs in furrow to get my corn going. And uh, what I I guess I use uh, liquid carbon with that. Um, it's, it's proven uh, very successful for me in the use of uh, breaking down uh, the organic matter and I get a quicker response to the corn residue we broke down with, uh, with the carbon products. And uh, I guess that it seems to have worked uh, quite well for me. Well, uh, most of the products I'm putting in furrow, uh, most of the, I uh, use a 30 inch planter and uh, my liquid products, that uh, the fertilizers and uh, the carbon, all go down as I uh, am planting. I also uh, use uh, quite a little of Monty's products to foliar feed. I find them uh, very user friendly. They uh, mix right in with my uh, chemicals. Uh, there's no, uh, there is no real uh, 
bind up or build up with these products. They mix right in with the herbicides that I'm using at the time, so it's uh, very convenient to feed the plant as well as take out any weed uh, pressures that I have. My greatest success story is probably uh, in, the, in the alfalfa line. Um, I've been using the Monty's foliar feeding fertilizers on my alfalfa, and I have found I've raised my relative feed value almost 30 points. I uh, used to uh, have my second, third cuttings uh, in this particular region in that 150s and 60s range. And with their products, I have had a, a surprising effect at, uh, to uh, raise my values in the 190s uh, for alfalfa. And uh, as far as being at marketable and saleable, I have had uh, great success in marketing that high-quality alfalfa using their products. With these products, uh, you know, having that product in the soil, I've had uh, a good root uh, mass uh, with these products. Uh, the foliar feeding, uh, getting uh, giving that extra plant nutrition that that plant uh, was lacking or stressing uh, with the weather conditions. Um, I felt uh, I felt good about uh, giving the plant that just that extra little boost that it needs to. Uh, to try and survive and battle them adverse conditions that Mother Nature was dealing with. Uh, first and foremost, I would probably get, if anybody hasn't tried anything, is to try some of that carbon. It's uh, been proven to me, as well as the results I've seen from it, it's enhancing the organic mo uh, matter in them soil. And uh, plant health, uh, the commodity prices are great uh, right now, so the extra uh, five or ten bucks that you're going to put at this crop, I'd certainly advise uh, some foliar feeding. Um, it's just, uh, it's a great opportunity in agriculture to be taking the extra steps and uh, using uh, just uh, these good products that Monty has to offer to, uh, to help uh, increase your bottom line. All right. Great testimony there uh, from uh, one of your fellow uh, North Dakotans. And uh, just a real re recap, you know, I think one of the things he said, just try it. I think that's one of the bottom line things here for all of our viewers. That, that's what we urge all farmers to do all over is, is just tr give the product a chance and it'll prove to themselves on their soil what it can do. We saw a demonstration on video here, Joe, earlier, and uh, you and Matt are going to recreate that here for us tonight yes. uh, in studio and, yes. uh, again, share with viewers what we're going to be doing here. Well, it's just like uh, Troy touched on. Go ahead and put the uh, competitive product in the water. Um, we actually get our product from the same place that everybody else gets theirs. The neat thing about Monty's is uh, we have uh, the developer of this technology right in our building. He's a Russian scientist from mm -hmm. Russia. And he's been over here a while uh, working with us to develop this product. But the difference between our product and any other product on the marketplace, it is ours is highly activated. Go ahead and show them uh, the activation process. So now you're putting in the Monty's? Yeah, we're putting in the, pro the uh, Monty's product now. Because we have turned that humic acid product over there that has humics as well as fulvics in it, uh, it is insoluble. And that's what you're seeing in that water on, on, on your TV. And on our side, where we have changed the product from being insoluble to soluble, it goes to work very quickly when the farmers put it on their soil. So when we were talking about dealing with uh, the issues that farmers are facing throughout the country, then we can take this one product and go into any area, regardless of the sand or the silt or the clay mixture of the soil, and help remediate many of those issues because this product is so active. It just goes to work immediately and the neat part is it just keeps working. And as uh, Troy testified, he put it on, on his, uh, as a foliar spray on his alfalfa and raised the protein level on that hay and the TDDN value as well. And uh, we're seeing that happen on, on many types of hay crops and alfalfas and legumes. Yeah, I imagine, Matt, you know, seeing is believing there when you demonstrate that uh, to your to your grower groups. Uh, you know, again, a great, uh, a great example here right in front of them was what's happening in their yeah, soils. Exactly, exactly.
We want to give our telephone number here now. It's that time for us to open up our telephone lines and have you join us to uh, visit and uh, ask questions. Uh, again, no matter what crop it is, no matter where you are in the country, we want to hear from you. Toll free lines opening up now, 877-731-6733. Again, toll free is 877-731-6733. We'd love to hear from you and uh, visit with our panelists later in our program. So we want to make sure we get those calls started here and we'll take your calls here in just a little bit. We also have another gentleman in the uh, Delmar Valley, uh, uh, Delmarva area. Uh, his name is uh, Mark uh, Fuchs, and uh, we got on the telephone with him some time ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, like Troy in North Dakota, uh, Mark had a lot of great things to say about Monty's plant foods from a personal standpoint. Here's Mark. Well, indeed, I do work in the Chesapeake Bay area, which is... Uh, been under a lot of focus from uh, both the EPA regulations and state regulations, uh, total daily maximum load numbers, and all that has been hot and heavy over the last number of years. And we work very hard, and the Monty's products have worked into that program because it's given us a tool to utilize the nutrients that are stored in our soils from indeed some areas with uh, large poultry uh, production with some elevated phosphorus levels that uh, if not managed properly affect our crop. We also have the luxury or the, the value of having some pretty extensive irrigation uh, on our lighter sandier soils in the uh, over the recent years with the improved productivity of our corn hybrids we have a tremendous amount of residue to deal with and the monty's carbon has worked tremendously to release those nutrients from the residue back into our soil solutions so we have it available for continued and enhanced production we began selling the monty's product i guess this will be our third full production year and we have learned continually different ways to enhance crop production using the Monty's products. Uh, the basic being the carbon product where we're using it in, in a full array of crops that we grow here on the Delmarva, the corn, the soybeans, the wheat, and then a vast array of vegetable crops also. One of the uh, first and largest use areas has uh, been with the nitrogen fertilizers on our small grain crop, where we, on our lighter soils, have a lot of sulfur deficiency. We blend sulfur products with our 30%, and the carbon as, as a tool to, um, to reduce the burn effects from the, the 30%, safe in the 30% to protect our wheat and, and then on top of that, we have the, the great value of it breaking, helping to break down the residue from our previous corn crop crops. Some of the, the issues we have with some of the weather patterns that we've had over the last couple of years, uh, especially with some big nor'easters and also some hurricanes, we've had a lot of saltwater intrusion in our bay areas, both from the Chesapeake Bay and the Delaware Bay. Um, well, one beautiful example was a grower we work with in the in the Milford, Delaware area that uh, probably was losing production on, oh, goodness, uh, several hundred acres. And we were able to work with uh, some folks at the University of Delaware and, and the AgriLabs folks uh, in the Milford area and actually do routine soil testing after we had applied the carbon um, in, in, in the form of the nanobind product uh, and, and reduce some of the salt levels in the soil by as much as 60, 60 some percent. And uh, in fact, I was just with that grower last week and he had another field adjacent to the field we were working in that he on his own put the carbon on and, and actually told us that it flat out the only difference between the two fields was the quarter carbon and he had a 40 bushel yield response. That's a pretty good return on these investments. The, the Monty's products have been, uh, it's been exciting over the last couple of years working with the products 
in, in our starters, uh, in, our, in, in some of the foliar programs. The farmers indeed uh, have seen and, and uh, realized that we're, we're, on, we're still on, on the uh, early side of a learning curve in a lot of ways. But the response in, in all crops, whether it's some of our, our watermelon crops uh, under the plastic to enhance the, the fertilizer utilization that we put there, or whether it's in our starters with a two-by-two two to, again, like with the 30% buffer, some of the fertilizer salts, or actually you know, one of the bigger growth areas over the last couple of years has been the use of pop-up fertilizers. Again, going back to the issues with uh, fertilizer nutrient buildup from some of our poultry operations, uh, we're able to use a lot less fertilizer and get a lot more return for our dollar by the, the low rates of, of pop-ups right in the row with the seed, both in our corn and soybean production system. There's Mark uh, Mark Fuchs from the Delmar uh, Valeria area, Delmar Barra. Del Delmarva. There, thank you. It's Delaware, Th Maryland, and third Virginia. Third time's a charm there. Right? <laughs> but uh, and we're going to go to break here in a minute, but then bring Gary back in here. But uh, special challenges he has. There are opportunities as yes, well, though, yes. Joe. And, and Mark did mention a few things that we haven't even talked about yet. But one of the things he's really doing over there is adding uh, our carbon in with liquid nitrogen. And he mentioned about buffering the uh, burn effect on the leaf surface, especially with uh, wheat production over there. That's one thing. The other thing that they deal with all up and down the East Coast is this uh, hurricanes that bring in the salt water and, and up into the bays, onto the fields. Sure. And, uh, and uh, Mark mentioned a product called Nanobine. That happens to be another one of our products, but it, it, the main base of that product is our liquid carbon. And so the liquid carbon, along with three or four other uh, packages that we have in there, is designed to remediate salts in that area. And as you know, the, uh, the government is, is really uh, hard pressed on that uh, Chesapeake Bay area mm -hmm. uh, about the watersheds and the runoffs and, and all that. A lot of good things happening out there. It, I mean, there there's is, a lot of there, regulations, there but they're, and they're making, uh, I guess, yeah, the right kind of progress. And we're learning there. a lot from that. And so Mark has a lot of challenges over there that maybe some of the rest of the country don't have. And we've been able to, to deal with many issues over there and help the farmers out quite Very a bit. Very good. Well, we're going to try to help as well our viewers mm -hmm. here tonight. Uh, joining us here on the telephone, I'll give you our telephone number. We'll take our break and uh, have Gary Coughlin uh, back in here as well in the full house here on our panel. But 877-731-6733 for you to join us live here on RFD TV. If you are joining us here during the hour, Monty's Plant Food Company. Uh, for the first time on RFD TV Live. Great to have them here, and we look forward to hearing from you how they can help you as you begin this planting season in your area, no matter where you are, or crops in your backyard, in your garden. Uh, we can talk about that too, as well. Yeah. That's how it all started. Maybe your roses need some help. Monty's can help you. We'll be right back, and Gary uh, Coughlin joining us as well on your telephone calls right here on RFD TV Live on Rural America's most important network. Welcome to RFD TV's new product showcase featuring today's latest products. Now you can ensure a better harvest this fall by preparing your soils this spring. Monty's Liquid Carbon is an organic soil conditioner that is readily available to move into your soil, offering relief from your toughest challenges. Liquid Carbon also helps improve nutrient efficiency, and Monty's Tank Mix flexibility makes burn down the perfect time to improve your soil and maximize your yield potential. For more information and to find a dealer, visit Monty'sPlantFood.com. When four lanes turn to two and the air becomes just a little sweeter, you'll know you're getting closer. We are where the work gets done. If you're a worker, a fixer, a grower, or a doer, then welcome home. Southern States, a place for those who do. Farmer-owned since 1923. With Monty's, you get better soil, better crops, and better yields. Make the most of your harvest. Ask for Monty's products at your Southern States. Welcome to RFD-TV's new product showcase featuring today's latest products. 
With AgriHance, now you can give your crops the nutrients they need when they need them. AgriHance SR and V are formulated so that you control and manage the delivery of nutrients during each phase of your crop's development. To maximize overall yields, AgriHance offers tank mix flexibility, allowing you to mix and apply with most farm chemicals without an extra pass. This season, be in control and manage your crops from planting to harvest with AgriHance. Visit Monty'sPlantFood.com. As your power steering pump ages, seal leaks may occur, causing the power steering system to lose fluid. Your power steering system may also develop an annoying squeal, and the steering may become more difficult to handle. By using Lucas Power Steering Stop Leak, you will stop the seal leaks, reduce slack in rack and pinions, eliminate the squeals and hard spots in your power steering system. It is guaranteed to stop seal leaks or your money back. Lucas Power Steering Stop Leak. It works. Welcome back to RFD TV Live with our friends from Monty's Plant Food. It's great to introduce them to you this evening and uh, what great story they have. If you're just joining us here, uh, Joe, let's uh, just real quick in about 30 seconds or so uh, tell our viewers how it all started here with Monty and rose bushes. Yes, it, it, Monty uh, was an avid rose grower and he uh, was always searching for something to make the maximum rose. And so he found uh, a particular thing that he worked three plus years to develop, putting the right products together and developing a plant food. And then he also added a humic product to it that really set it off. And then that developed roses that were tremendously big and very bright in color. And he began to win rose contests everywhere. Well, then it went from lawn there to lawn and garden and then lawn and garden into agriculture. The last 12 years we've been solving problems for farmers. And that's what we're talking about tonight. We can talk about the garden products yeah. if, we, if we need to, but we certainly want to talk about agricultural products yeah. going into this planting season. We have callers on the line, so we're going to put the three of you to work. Gary, thanks for uh, coming back and joining us again. And we go to Ohio for our first call. Fred, you're up first on RFD TV Live with our friends from Monty's. Welcome. Hey, thank you. Uh, very interesting program, informative, but I want to know, could you use that for your garden vegetables? Uh, Fred, you, by all means, in fact, that's really where we started. Uh, the, uh, the garden is the great place to use it. The humix that are in the product along with actual plant food makes the plants in your garden respond tremendously. Uh, and it, they just grow with accelerated growth. They'll hold the blooms longer. They produce bigger fruit. And the great part of the garden is that you will begin to taste better fruit. It will have a better taste to it. And uh, we're hearing that from all over the country that people are using on their gardens and they love it. Fred, another comment. Joe was talking about carbon and the foliar products, but there's a 41512 plant food, an 8168 plant food, and a 21515 to be used at reproduction. But if he will take a 41512 or the 8168, and mix one to two tablespoons per gallon of water. Spray on his garden, on anything in the garden. It will not spread. And he will do that once a week, once every two weeks. He needs to uh, mist it on. Do not soak the plant. Mist it on so those small droplets can be taken into the plant. Uh, Gary, would that go for anything in the garden? I mean, if you're, uh, I think uh, Mark maybe talked about watermelons uh, and, and those kinds of products, uh, potatoes. But I mean, in in the garden, it doesn't matter the product. Yeah, no, anything in your garden. Uh, ladies out there that might be watching, any flowers that you have, rose bushes, whatever. We've got some commercial fellows who are actually running that through their drip lines, through drip irrigation and then come back and follow your feeding it also. Well, and they're going to ask, where do I get that, Gary? Uh, where can I go get this Monty's Plant Food tomorrow morning? What do we tell them, Joe? Well, they can go to our website, www.montysplantfood.com. There is a dealer locator on there. for They can either put in their uh, zip code or they can actually pull up a map and, and look on the map. Uh, and then, of course, uh, one of our major distributors is Southern States Cooperative, uh, wherever Southern States is at. Very good. All right. Again, our telephone number for you to join us about 10 minutes before we have to say good night here. For, so we'd love to hear from you if you have a question. Uh, eight, toll free 877-731-6733. Again, lines opening now and we'll be open for about 10 more minutes. Let's go to Alabama. John, thanks for holding on. You're up next. Yes, I was just wondering how this would help 
work on replacing any fertilizer needs on cotton or corn. On cotton or corn, all right. Well, that's a good question, uh, John. We get that ask everywhere we go. Um, we don't ever uh, recommend at all that we're here to replace anything. Uh, again, earlier in the program, we told all about soil testing. So we always want you to soil test. We look at the soil test along with your local dealer or co-op. And uh, we want you to put on the nutrients that your soils and your crops need. We actually uh, kind of use our products as a toolbox, uh, management tools. And we help, like we did with the starters, uh, is to start the seed out of the ground so fast and so rapid to get it on its way to uh, yield. And then if you, you run into any kind of stresses, whether it's hot weather, too much water, uh, nutrient deficiencies, uh, we actually come in and can spray that and recover the crop uh, from that deficiency. And then once you've used our product for even a year, you will see, well, this is what makes the product respond. And then many farmers begin to put it as part of their program. So we, we truly are a program of products that helps you manage your crop and maximize the uh, yield potential of some of those genetics that you're buying uh, to get the most yield that you can get. So again, we're like a management toolbox that you can pull out of for this product and that to help get That's it. That's a great way to say that. And, and Matt, how about in your area? I think Joe brings up a point that, uh, that you've seen up there where year to year, you're going to see even more improvement the second year if you're continuing to use the Monty's products. Oh, definitely. Over over the years, you will see the soil tilth improve, um, your organic matter, um, CECs, just like they talked about earlier in the show, how they improve, your soil gets better, um, your crops will grow um, uh, more efficiently, so you maximize that yield potential that every crop has when it's put in the ground. It has a maximum yield that you can you want to maintain, it, you know, versus all of Mother Nature's Everything Mother Nature throws You've seen a lot of that up there. We'll go back to the telephone here to Wyoming, uh, where Charles has called us. Charles, welcome to RFD TV Live with our friends from Monty. Hello. Go ahead, Charles. Yes, we are uh, stock grazing stalker uh, operators here, mm -hmm. and I was wondering if you've ever run any trials on applying this carbon product you're telling us this evening. On, on, uh, you're talking native, about pasture? Yeah, on native range. Uh, ours is a very diversified uh, thing. It's uh, we're grazing native range, crested wheatgrass, or oh, intermediate wheatgrass, some alfalfa. And uh, would there be any benefit derived from applying this? All right. Thanks for the call. Well, you know, I've I've ran some trials. In, in the North Dakota area on, on pasture land and on alfalfa. Um, the one thing on pasture land that we've seen, if you apply the straight liquid carbon, um, you can get a, you can maintain that grass through a longer dry spell, um, whether you can push that rain, you know, if you can't get a rain within two weeks, you know, you're still, you're still gonna have a chance of having drought, but if you can, have that crop or that grass or that alfalfa last two weeks longer in a dry spell. Um, that's something we've seen. Uh, it stays greener. Um, with being greener, you're going to get better forage quality for your for your livestock. And on alfalfa, like uh, my producer from up in North Dakota said, he increased his quality. Um, along with that, it. it it's just helped the soil yeah. in the pasture loosen up. Very good. We've just had about a minute or so. I'm going to come down the line real quick and have everybody give one last word. Make sure everybody has a last word. Gary, you're up first. Uh, what do you like to leave with our viewers? It's been mentioned a couple of times. Uh, producers just need to try it. And after they try it, they'll see the benefits and they will be back the second year. But in addition to that, I would challenge everybody to take care of your soil. That's the best and biggest natural resource that we have. I think back again to my earlier career about using all the various soil insecticides and what we did negatively to that microbial activity. Uh, and we need that microbial activity in the soil. Very good. Matt, about 30 seconds for you. What are your final thoughts? Well, on behalf, you know, on behalf of Joe and Gary and myself and the whole 
um, sales team across the U.S. You know, we, we want to build that relationship with you to, and to improve your soils, make your crops perform to their maximum yield, and and get our tools on, in your hands so you can use them. Very good. You did a great job of that communicating yeah. that tonight. Joe, last word from you. You've got it. What's, well, uh, what, is, what is it? W one reason we did the demo is seeing is believing. And, and our products really perform once you apply it to the soil. And again, it's just try it and you'll see what happens. Check that local dealer. You've got a yes. dealer locator on yes. your website. Yes. A good place to start here. Mm -hmm. Very good. Well, from all of us here at RFD TV, we welcome Monty's Plant Food to you. Hope it's been a great experience for you. And we're going to come back March 12th. That's correct. You are back again here on RFD TV Live, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 Central Time on March the 12th. Put that down and hope you'll join us then. We've got a lot of great things to share with you that night as well. We haven't given you the whole story. We have a lot more to share. We hope you enjoyed the program. And on behalf of everyone here on RFD TV, good night from Rural America's most important network. And we have hope you have the greatest growing season ever. Good night. Join us here Thursday at 10 p.m. Eastern for RFD TV Live. Our special guest will be Agritain. Introducing the new Dual Saw CS450, the ultimate cutting machine. The Dual Saw CS450's patented counter rotating blade technology allows you to cut through virtually anything with just one tool. This unique technology drives the two blades in opposite directions, creating a scissor like effect, dramatically reducing kickback, sparks, and vibrations for perfectly clean cuts every time. The lightweight and portable Dual Saw is so powerful it cuts this cast iron pan, yet so precise that it can slice a tomato. Use it to save money and do it yourself. Drop a sink into a bathroom or kitchen quick and easy. It's the portable powerhouse that fits into the palm of your hand. Whether you're a seasoned contractor or a first-time user, nothing compares to the Dual Saw CS450. It's the ultimate combination of precision engineering and blade technology. The new Dual Saw makes all kinds of jobs easier. No drilling pilot holes. No more torn-up surfaces. You could spend hundreds on different tools to get the job done, or you can get it all done with a new dual saw cs450 look how dual saw cuts plexiglass painted steel copper soft wood pvc piping and hardwood flooring the dual saw cuts backwards and forwards with no bite and no kick it's so easy to use the sleek dual saw is perfect for almost anyone so call now and take advantage of this special offer regular price is 220 dollars but the amazing dual saw cs450 can be yours today for only three easy payments of 39.95 plus shipping and handling a savings of over